terms of water requirement for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have made very ambitious plan to, to enable uh, all citizens and all people living in, within the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to achieve uh, the right quantities of water, regardless of their location and regardless of their position. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is uh, wide scattered. Uh, it's just so huge that you need to reach uh, uh, multiple places uh, and therefore you need to be able to have water to be produced in somewhere and transfer this water to the location where uh, demand is uh, required. We have more than 26 plants in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The majority of them are in the west coast from Shugeik, southern region, up to the north in Diba area. So in every almost 200 or 300 kilometer, there are multiple plants next to each other. One of the biggest project was uh, done now, uh, more than 70% has been completed. The one which is in, in between Shugeik plant uh, in the uh, south region, which is Asir region plus uh, Jizan region, which is around more than 900 uh, kilometer of different sizes, but and that was done by Maba with the joint venture of uh, of a Saudi contractor. But the main contract was with Maba, uh, and they are doing uh, fine. Chukaik Water Transmission Project Phase 2 has a total pumping capacity of 250,000 cubic meters per day. The project starts from the Chukaik desalination plant to the cities of Aba, Samta, Albirk, Rial Alma, Daran Al Yanub, and Sabt Al Alaya and their towns. Along these routes, which MAPA constructed, there are eight pumping stations. 35 steel and concrete reservoir stations and truck filling stations with a storage capacity of 868,000 cubic meters per day. With this project, MAPA laid a 1,000 kilometer pipeline of carbon steel and also completed the construction of a 550 kilometer pavement service road. MAPA is a company which belongs to the MNG group of Turkey. Abha is the capital of the Asir region. This area, which is located in the southwestern part of Saudi Arabia, near the Yemen border, complete with mischievous baboons darting across the roads. MAPA's task meant going over the mountains, laying pipelines in order to transport the water from Shukaik to Abha and further on to different parts of the country. You cannot imagine uh, how we suffer to uh, mobilize the equipment there. We have uh, equipment, uh, some of the equipment, it is about uh, one third ton. To transfer this one to that uh, location without uh, having any, uh, uh, I mean, uh, surface road, it, is, it was uh, so difficult. I mean, this mountain area, because the curvature uh, of the road, and with the uh, huge equipment, with uh, more length, it is difficult for the trailer to uh, move this equipment. We transfer with uh, special trucks, one truck in front, one truck in, in behind, and there was also other uh, bulldozers uh, to hold the heavy loads. 
and every two or three days we transferred only one search vessel. More than a month it took from us to transfer from upper city to PSA for the search vessels. This is a project that I can just simply say it. It's chokkozal, chokkozal. It's it's a very tedious work, very tremendous amount of effort that has been done. Uh, a task that has not been done uh, anywhere else in the world that has been done tremendously, uh, professionally, and we really appreciate the work of our contractor. Northwest of the capital, Riyadh, the tremendous work of the MAPA workers is being carried out. The 270 kilometer long Ras Al Khair Riyadh pipeline starts from PS1 at Ras Al Khair, ends at PS3 at Ad Dana Desert. This 72 inch twin pipeline has a design capacity of 900,000 cubic meters per day. Therefore, it is quite an important project for Saudi Arabia. In terms of terrain after Abha, this may look like a relatively easy task. Since the entire area consists of endless desert, it would seem that laying the pipes couldn't be more difficult than at the Abha mainline. However, when you look at the details of the pipeline, you see the tremendous hard work and expertise required. The Ras Al Khair Rafar Al Batin water transmission system, which is engineered, designed, and constructed by MAPA, is a 354 kilometer pipeline. It has seven reservoir stations along its length, with a storage capacity of 110,000 cubic meters per day. With that project, MAPA were qualified to take two other projects. So this is, I can call it like a marriage relation that you go into the first stages into rough, but later on each, you know, you have to lean in certain points and you have to be harsh. So they have, we have to accept each other. Our contractors are not simply a contractor that wants, we want them to work with us as hit and run. You know, we will try to build more partnership with our contractors because ultimately the success of the contractor will end up to be the success of the water sector in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia.